channel and welcome to another travel vlog. Today we are actually driving from Utah over to Arizona. We're going to Northern Arizona and we're gonna go to Lake Powell. We were planning on going to Antelope Canyon which is right by Lake Powell in Page, Arizona but it's closed down right now because of COVID restrictions. So we're just gonna go over to the lake. We're planning to go kayaking. Zach over here rented us a kayak and it's gonna be a lot of fun. It's crazy hot in Arizona and in Southern Utah as well. So I'm sure we're gonna get a ton of sun, but we're excited to take y'all along with us. We just made it to Page, Arizona. We're at the rental place picking up our kayaks and then we're gonna head down to the lake. We just made it to the lake and we're unloading the kayak. I don't know if I mentioned this, but we got a two-seater kayak and the lake is right back there. It is so pretty. I cannot wait to kayak through the canyons. Zach is getting it all ready to go. How are you doing up there, Cam? Your arms burning yet? Yes. You getting wet? It's an actual workout. My, my hair is getting a little wet. Alright guys, so we are in Antelope Canyon right now. You can see the top of the canyon right there and it's just towering over us. And there's a boat coming. And there's boats and jet skis and tons of kayakers. And this hat is just on point. It's just... <laughs> there's a boat coming. There's surprisingly a lot of boats in here. There's the boat. I think we've been kayaking for about two hours or so and Zach is back there eating a snack. He keeps scaring me because he will like move very quickly and then it feels like the kayak's gonna tip over. And I would not care at all if the kayak tipped over because I think this water is really clean and it feels good. The only thing I'm worried about is all my cameras. Like I brought my vlog camera, my big DSLR camera, and of course my phone and then Zach's phone. So it just would not be good news if we fell in the water. So Zach and I just found a really good stopping point and we pulled our kayak over to the side of this cliff and now we just finished taking some photos up here and they turned out really good. I'm so excited about them. This place is just so amazing. I can't even believe it. I feel like I've said that about everywhere we've gone, but then every time I get to a new destination, I'm just still so blown away. Here is where we pulled our kayak over and just look at this view. The light is so good right now. Zach's over here taking a little break. He's been doing most of the rowing, so props to him. I've been trying to help as much as I can, but I'm not the strongest, so my arms are getting so tired. Thankfully, Zach is a strong one, though. Make a good rowing team. Should we enter competitions, like couple competitions? I get smoked. <laughs> fries and I think Zach got a cheeseburger. So you got? Yeah. Yeah. And I think we're gonna sit in the car and eat real quick and then Zach is gonna run into a Starbucks and get us some coffee. Surprise, surprise. I think we get coffee in every single video. Like I don't know if we have one single video on our channel that's a vlog where we didn't go get coffee. We like coffee. <laughs> we love it. I love coffee. A little picnic in the car. We got two little strips and ranch. I just picked up our coffee and please excuse my hair. I just took it out of a bun and it literally looks like a lion's it mane looks right terrible. now. terrible. Thank you, Zach. <laughs> Zach's hair is almost as long as mine now. I'm just kidding. Your hair looks beautiful. Thank you. It's all crimped. I think that you should get a balayage so we can both have like blonde in our hair. Because we almost have the same natural hair color. I want blonde in my hair. <laughs> I'm kidding. We have a couple hours until we get back to our campground in Utah. If you can't tell by my face, I'm so tired right now. We were at the drive-thru and Zach was asking me what I wanted and I literally was just like staring there blankly because my brain just can't even function right now. But we did want to fill y'all in on some of our more recent travel dilemmas because if you watched our previous travel day disaster video, then you know that we had a blowout tire, we had a water leak, 
we lost our keys, we had to boondock at Walmart, it was just nuts. Our roof was falling off, like everything was going wrong that could possibly go wrong. And we finally got it all like fixed for the most part. Anyways, once we got to Arizona, we camped there for two days and then the night before we were leaving to head to Utah, Zach noticed that one of our tires was flat. So he had to change it and then the next morning he woke up early, took it to a tire shop and got a new tire, put it on our camper and then just got back on the road. We were like an hour down the road on our way to Utah and then we had another blowout. So literally out of the four tires on our camper, three of them have gone flat or blown out at this point. Um, so it's safe to say we've had the absolute worst luck with our tires on the camper. The truck tires have been absolutely fine. They're brand new. We got new tires the day that we left on the truck. And apparently we should have gotten new tires on our camper as well because they have all failed us. We have one left that is going strong, but we're gonna head to another tire store tomorrow and get another spare because we're not gonna chance our last one going out and not having a backup. I would definitely say our tire problems have been the worst part of this trip because everything else that's like kind of gone wrong on the camper, like our light fixtures falling off and um, you know, like our roof problem or whatever, like they've been annoying, but we've at least found temporary solutions for them. Like our tires blowing out on the highway is so scary because the first time it wasn't that bad because it was like on the roadside. And so we had room like in the shoulder of the road to change the tire. But whenever it happened the second time, like the blowout, it was on the highway side. So there were massive 18 wheelers and semi trucks just flying by. Every time they'd go by, the wind off of them would like make the camper shake a little bit. And I was just scared to death because Zach was like crouched down on the ground, like changing the tire. And I was trying to look out for him. And I just honestly was like panicking because I felt so scared. It was insanely hot, like the heat was just coming up off the pavement. I'm pretty sure I cried. She cried. <laughs> she had a panic attack. I did not have a panic attack. You did. I that was, was a calm one. Yeah, Zach was so calm. Like I wish he could be that calm all the time because he was just like chilling. Like he was like, it's fine, we'll get it fixed. And he like very quickly got all the tools out and knew exactly what to do. Props to him. I was not calm. I literally was like, why does this keep happening? And just started crying. And Zach was like, stop crying. And I went and stood out there on the highway with him and watched him change the tire and also like looked out for trucks. And every time a big truck would be coming by, I'd be like, Zach, there's another truck coming. My whole 24 years of life, I have never had a blowout in my life. On my truck, anything, pulling anything. And we're going on a two week long road trip and I have a blowout in two hours and I have to change a tire. That's my first time ever changing a tire on the side of the road. And now I've had to change three tires. So I'm the tire expert now. He's gonna have enough experience to open up a tire shop after this. I would say that. We're gonna call it Zach's Tire Shop. <laughs> <laughs> Zach Wall, the tire man. Even though I, I've known how to change a tire, it's just never happened to me. Anyways, I'm probably gonna go ahead and close out this vlog. I don't really know how long it is at this point, but tomorrow we have plans to go to Vegas. It's about two hours from our campground in Utah, so we're gonna drive over there because Zach has never been. I'm pretty sure most of the stuff on this trip is still like either closed down or just has a very low capacity, so I'm not really sure what all we'll get to do, but we are gonna go to the Seven Magic Mountains, which is the tall, colorful rocks, and do a photo shoot there and then we will probably walk around the strip just so we can sightsee and maybe find a bite to eat just be another place to check off the bucket list and get some cool content at i'm gonna go gamble all of our money away anyways catch us in our next vlog and we will see y'all next time hey be sure to uh like and subscribe